Casino at Yonkers Raceway sets the backdrop for the New York Daily News Golden Gloves, the oldest and largest amateur boxing tournament in the world. The tournament consists of approximately 10 weeks of elimination bouts held throughout the New York metropolitan area. A field of hundreds of fighters are narrowed down through these bouts, which leads to the finals. The tournament started in 1927 and has been the launching pad to many professional fighters such as Sugar Ray Robinson, Riddick Bowe, Floyd Patterson, and more recently Zab Judah, Polly Malinaji, Danny Jacobs, and Marcus Brown. Tonight, we have the opportunity to speak with some of the athletes about their performance in the ring, as well as the discipline that it takes to compete at this level. This is the New York Daily News Golden Gloves and it's amateur boxing at its best. Well, this is Berenice Mako from Gleason's Gym. Yes, yes. You did a wonderful job. You might have come out a little short. Uh, anything you might have changed out there? You know, just having more experience. This is my second fight, so. I'm happy with what I did so far. I think it takes a lot of guts to get in the ring, and I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. Was there anything different, surprises out there maybe that you didn't expect? Um, I think that uh, uh, Christella has had a lot of uh, fights, you know, so she's got a lot more experience. She's been doing it a little longer than me. So, I mean, we all start somewhere, so I'm not mad at it at all. I'm happy, and I'll be back. So, did it defeat me. And, and this gentleman right over this here. This is my trainer. Uh, this is my trainer. trainer. <laughs> Wait, Mommy, I'm getting interviewed. Oh, oh. Is, it, is this your mom? <laughs> Wait. Oh, is this your mother? This is my mom. Hi. Oh. C come say a few words to, uh, over here about uh, about the, your fighter. Yeah, Bernie sees my fighter. Um, this is only her second fight. The girl she fought had a lot of experience, but she just got a lot of heart. You know, she made it this far, and the next time she fight, she'll take it. Now, what as a female made you decide to go into a sport such as boxing? Um, it's an emotional question for me because I feel like uh, it's something that I've always had in my heart that I wanted to try. I feel like uh, Jesus put it in my heart to, to go out there and give it my all and told me that whether you win or you lose, I'm with you the whole way. And uh, if, I didn't have, if I didn't have God in my life, I wouldn't have been able to do it, all of what I've done already. So I'm proud of that. And your mother was just here. That was oh, she's got me. She's got me crying now. <laughs> How does she feel about you, Bob? Um, in the beginning, she was a little bit uh, skeptical, just the idea of me, you know, putting my face out there to get punched and stuff. But uh, now, like, I don't know, something clicked in her, and she's just been so, so supportive, like supportive. She drove up here from North Carolina to watch me fight, so it means a lot to her. She's got a lot of support. Mm -hmm. And outside of boxing, what else do you? Uh, what's your profession? Um, I'm a nanny. I take care of kids. Um, and I'm also a designer. I like to do fashion and stuff, so that's basically it. Designing any kind Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very soon, probably. I want to do a women's uh, boxing wear. Yeah, because it doesn't exist. That sucks. How would you change it? Um, I would not make everything pink. <laughs> I would I would put some other colors in there because girls like colors other than pink, you know? So, a little bit more structured. Like a little bit like Stella McCartney for Adidas, you know? A little bit more structured, a little more stylish, yeah. Oh, good luck there and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Will you be back? Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, yes, we'll be back. We'll be Is that back. The last you, seen hey, you want to put them up there for me? There you go. Wonderful. Congratulations. You. you did a Thank wonderful you. job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Christella Safita, wonderful job out there. Thank you. you know, give a little replay of, of for our audience uh, about what happened in that ring tonight. Well, um, I just went in there and followed my coach's instructions. They told me to use my jab and my right hand, and it was effective. I kept using my overhand right, and it proved to be dominant. Is, is that what you were uh, practicing uh, in the gym? Uh, well, in the gym, I was practicing everything. I didn't really have an exact, you know, game plan. Um, we just practiced every single combination, every punch that, that I threw in there, everything. We practiced. There was not one main thing that we focused on. We did everything in my gym to prepare me for this fight. Do you have a favorite combination? Overhand right. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite punch. Um, I like the double, the triple hook. I also like the overhand right and triple hook. Yeah. Two years in a row. <laughs> Two years in a row. Champion. Champion. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so tell me, what brought you into boxing as a female? Well, um, I've always been an athlete. Throughout high school, I would play soccer, basketball, softball, everything. Um, 
Uh, I just decided to come into the gym one day. My sister brought me to the boxing gym and I spoke to the coach and ever since the first day of training, I loved it. And I decided that I wanted to compete and I started and I loved it. And, and who's your mentor? Um, coach John, John Morrison and Pat Mitchell, both of them. They, they, they brought me a long way. Ever since day one, they've stayed on my back with everything. And it's more than, than boxing with them. It's, they're, they're like a family to me. They, they brought me a long way. Family. Yeah, family. Y you know, boxing is like that. Family. Number three yeah. in the country, number one in New York. <laughs> champion two years in a row. Champion. 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 That, that is wonderful. Great. Do you plan on going professional? Or? No, I plan to pursue a career in nursing. So I don't oh, want to... Oh, in nursing? Yeah, I don't want to continue as professional, but I'll definitely continue the workout. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering about that as far as nursing. How do you feel about getting hit and the punches? Do you, do you feel that uh, boxing's too brutal? Um, if you do it for a long time, yeah. But for now, it's a great hobby. It teaches me a lot of discipline and commitment, so I love it. It is a commitment. Hey, well, would you like to say a shout out to your uh, fans? My parents, my family, all my friends that came over to support, everybody from the gym. Thank you so much for coming to support. It means so much to me, and you guys helped me to, to be able to win tonight. Thank you. Hey, you want to put them up here for me? And uh, a winner, a winner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Empire City Casino at Yonkers Raceway. Hope you've enjoyed the show, and thanks for watching.